Hey there, today's a big day over at the house. I'm super excited because the opening between the living room and the dining room is going to double in size today. We have contractors headed over to open up that wall, put in a header, and just really open up the space. It's gonna make such an impact, and I'm so excited to see how it goes. When we first walked through the house and I saw that opening between the living room and dining room, the first thing I thought was that that wall needed to open up wide. Now because it's a load bearing wall and because of some of the other features in the house, separating you know, the entry and the living room, dining room area, tr trying to be able to keep a little bit of definition and also leave room on a wall for the couch, we decided not to open it up all the way but just to widen the walk through opening, still leave it trimmed out and just have it be a really open space that feels intentional and add sight lines between the front door, the living room, the kitchen and the dining room areas. I'm excited to head in and take Take a look at what they're doing and get started. We did a lot of this crazy kitchen demo ourselves, but we decided to call in some professionals for the header because it is a load bearing wall that just stretches across the whole house um, and we needed a, a real header to go in to support all of the weight of the house. Our estimates on having this work done varied dramatically. The first person I had looked at it estimated $5,700 to put in an eight foot header. The second person estimated 3,500. The last person and who I decided to go with estimated $1,200 for opening up the wall, putting in the header, reframing around it, and then finishing it out, the sheetrock and the trim ready for paint. That estimate was much more in the ballpark of what I was expecting and that's what we decided to go with. It was fun. Um, the kids and I were just kind of hanging out at the house and getting things done here and there while we watched as they tore down the wall, um, systematically opened up the sheetrock so they could see where the electrical needed to be replaced. We had an electrician called in to change a light switch that was um, really close to the trim and then moved it out so that it will be within the wall. Every little bit of progress makes me so happy. I go away for an hour or two, run an errand, and I come back and it just looks more and more open. The most recent errand, I went to grab some bottles of water and I came back and they had started actually taking down the pieces of sheetrock on the side of the wall that hadn't been broken up yet and immediately light is pouring into the living room in ways that it hadn't with such a small opening and I am over the moon excited about how it's turning out. I always get so excited by just the little things, the beginning, opening up a little bit of the wall, pulling off, <laughs> pulling off the trim, just these like little pieces and I'm amazed once the wall starts to get opened up, even just opening up the bottom, how you can see the way that houses are put together is just fascinating that we live in these structures that are built of pieces of wood and nails and a little bit of rock or plaster here or there and it's just amazing and I am so impressed and it's always fun for me to see the demo and the teardown part. Almost more exciting than to see it all go back up. Maybe it comes from growing up in a DIY household or having a father who owns a construction company, but the smell of fresh cut wood <laughs> makes me so happy. It just feels like a project and it feels like progress. I am really enjoying the process of watching them do this. So this is wall that, where they put the header in. I'll show you. You can see the header beam right there and um, it's nice and thick. And then on the other wall, the wall between the living room and what we're calling the patio room, I, they didn't need a true header because it's not a load-bearing wall, but I wanted to raise the height of the opening the same as it is here in the kitchen area. When you walk in to the front door, this, the, the space right here and the space right here are at the same height. Seriously, to walk into the front door and have this whole space open behind me all the way to what will be the back door and to be able to see a little piece of the kitchen, just have this whole space feel like it's a little bit more continuous and open is exactly what I was hoping for, exactly what I had in mind. So now from the front door, we have sight lines to the dining room, to the doorway leading to the hallway, to what will be the edge of the kitchen, and to the patio room, which leads to the master upstairs. So from right walking into the house, you have a little bit of an idea of all the different spaces and you feel connected already to what's going on everywhere. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now from this beautifully opened up 
main floor and I will be excited to check in in next week with some updates on having it all trimmed out and looking nice and getting more things rolling along as we remodel. Subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. We're updating every week with different aspects of this design process and the remodel and the fixer upper that we have here in Richmond, Virginia. And um, I am so thrilled that you're here and hope that you'll continue watching. See you later.